My name remains Martin Heider. I remain dis dis disagreement about the fashion, but whatever. Um, so, uh, cautionary note, that's all. And uh, you guys don't run an organisation with lots of employees, and I do. So let me just give you some stuff here. Cautionary note here, with due respect, that's a salesperson from an insurance broker. Um, if you double the rate of even Biden's administration's uh, inflation, which is going through the roof because they're terrible. Um, 1.07 times 1.07 times 1.07 times 1.07. Anybody can do that quickly? Okay. It's, well, actually, it's compound. It's 31%. So 31% over five years, all right? So what's my point? My point is, if your money goes up by 3% a year, anybody able to do that? 1.03 times 1.03 times 1.03. It's a little over 12%. You can you see where I'm going? 31% extra expense, 12% extra income. You see, you wouldn't understand, and that's why Democrats run out of money, because eventually you run out of other people's money to spend, right? If you spend more than you've got and you don't have access to a printing machine, you run out of money, all right? So there's the point. The point is that you are and this is really all I'm talking about. It's an unsustainable thing. For those of you that don't know what stop-loss insurance is, we self-insure. We spend nearly $15 million a year on insurance. We essentially run it ourselves. That's a risk. And this stop-loss stops us when we go north of 250 grand. All right. So this kicks in when an individual case drops to that kind of money, for those of you that are not necessarily familiar with it. It's got up to nearly a million dollars. Now, I've been coming here for years, and it started out at just over a half a million bucks. My point is not that we should push away um, from, uh, from this, but you're going to have to make some choices. Just as a reminder to you guys, over the next few years, when you make a commitment to this lavish project or that lavish project, remember one thing, 20% of the GDP in this country goes to health care, and health care is increasing at more than twice the rate of inflation. Eventually, the rubber meets the road. There is a question of whether we should be self-insuring, and that's a legitimate question. It's also a question of what the employees should be getting in terms of what they should be contributing. But these are all decisions that you can make. But don't make them in isolation or in blind fact. The fact is, 31% increase over the next five years versus 12% increase in money is unsustainable. And if you don't understand that, I can't help you.